So today we are back in the Tuscarora area. Uh, a few weeks ago, Bob and I were at this Palm Roy Academy cover bridge. Really cool cover bridge. But today I am here to visit the Books Indian Mound Historic Site. Uh, it's just off route, not too far off Route 75. So I'm right here currently. And after this, we may come down here and check out this little trail. Doesn't this look cool? Uh, it's just part of the state state game lands. But looks like there's a fence here and just a crooked little trail. I want to see what's there. So that would be... State Game Land 88. State Game Land 88. So, come along with me as we check out books, Indian Mound, and then we'll come down here and check out this trail. Should be a fun day. So we are here at Books Indian Mound. Welcome to another adventure. Uh, and you can see it right back here. So we'll walk back and take a look. Books, Indian Mound, 1929. Here lie the remains of 26 Indians, excavated by Pennsylvania Historic Commission. Wow. So pretty cool sight. Glad they were able to save that little bit of grave site for those Indians. Very cool to think Indians were right through here, here long before we were. Anyway, let's head over, see if we can find a path to walk on over on the state game lands. 
So I made it to our next spot, and I'm looking around here. Pretty much just a state game land parking lot, but I don't see much in the way of trails. I so I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to go on any hikes. There's a kind of a trail here. There is a trail there somewhat. Maybe we could take that. I don't know. There. The road there. So I think I will take that trail there out a little bit. So come along with me and we'll walk out that way and see what's out there. So we'll see if this is worth the bugs, the spider webs, and the heat. And it almost looks like I could drive back here. But that takes the fun out of everything. So let's see what we can see. So it looks like we couldn't drive back here, but it looks like many people do. It looks like this road just comes up to an open field. Well, we'll keep following a little bit, see what, see what we see. Well, I don't know about you, but I think places like this are so cool, beautiful. Uh, there, there are these places that very few people come to and get to see. But just a nice little view, open field in the middle of the mountain. Nobody here. And I got adventure ahead looking for where, where these, if there's any trails to go anywhere. So again, there appears to be a path here. Let's check it out. Some of you people out there that do hike a lot, do you ever get on these kind of trails and you're wondering why am I following this? It's weeds, buggy, it's hot, but something just keeps driving you. Keep going. Keep going. You're getting exercise. Might be something to see at the end of it. Just comment down below if you do that. It's terrible buggy out here. Something's just telling me keep going, keep going. So. We're gonna keep going for a little bit. And you see little cool things along the way like this. I'm not promising we're gonna keep going too much. It is hot and buggy and weedy. I don't know if you can see that tree there, but wow, look at that big bulge on that thing. I'll try and zoom in on that.
I mentioned the bugs. The bugs are terrible. Thank goodness I put bug spray on, but whoo, they are bad. So it looks like this is coming out to a field or a power line or something, so I'm glad I stuck with it. Maybe there'll be a view up here. I hope so. So yeah, probably worth sticking with the trail. Very cool, I'll walk you out here. Typical rock Sylvania up that way. But, look down that way. And, looks like a pretty famous hunting spot. There's a deer stand, deer stand, deer stand. Pretty awesome view though. So when we were at the Indian Mound, it would have been over that way. Just over that way would have been the Indian Mound. Not far from here. Not a bad view. Just something a little different today. Pretty cool. Glad I got out. So one last little look there. Uh, I'm going to start heading back. So I think that's where we're going to end this. Anyway, as always, it was a fun but hot buggy adventure. Uh, and also, if you can, keep Bob in your prayers. He's on the mend and says he'll be back soon. So keep him in your prayers. Get him back with us quicker. Anyway, if you're watching this, Bob, we miss you, and we'll see you soon. Anyway, thank you all for coming along as always. I appreciate all of you. All you new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. All you guys have been with me a long time. I appreciate you so much, and I appreciate the comments. Uh, keep them coming. Keep the likes coming, and keep coming along with me on these adventures if you would. So anyway, God bless all of you. Praying for all of you, and we'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.